across here. Check it, he's just crossing the road. But don't <laughs> follow me round, okay? everything that everyone has done for me and I hope that in one way or another I'll give you those moments back so thank you Out here. Probably one of the best out here. Not really. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah, I think he's that uh, good out here. He's pretty good. He's good. What? How many times do you want it? Like four? Four or something? Yeah. He's pretty good out here. Uh, he knows how to do a wrap, that guy. He's serving this this way perfectly. I think he knows how to make a couple heats as well. I love McFanny. It's a four times champion in this contest. Number three is Jordy. Number two, Parko. And number one, Mick, for sure. So. He's, he is the best out here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack Perry. I run a surf accessories company called Modem in Torquay. This is where the magic happens. This is where I grew up. It's, it's yeah, it's a pretty good little zone. As you can see, there's heaps of trees and, and kind of parkland and, and stuff. This is Janjak. This is pretty much every Grom learns to surf here or Torquay. So it got voted the worst beach break in Australia or maybe the fourth worst. It's pretty much my go-to for my lunch break. You know, we've got so many waves in such a, you know, a small stretch of coastline. You know, there's like 12 really good waves within sort of a 8 to 10 kilometre radius. Oh, Jiggy, he's just crossing the road. <laughs> yes. Winky. This is, yeah, this is the best wave in Victoria. I like them both. I prefer Winky. Winky's way better than that. Winky pop Winky is just the more rippable way. Way better way. Jeez, when the ball's good, it's, it's definitely better than Winky. But I love the ball because I won here. I like bells better. Bells. Oh, I prefer bells.
Well, we consider ourselves southern men, you know, the, the southern ocean, which is basically where we get very, very large, long period swells. I don't think I've ever been anywhere else where there's as much surf as Victoria. Bells is a lot harder to surf because it's, it's got the takeoff area of two football, two football grounds. It's huge out there. Whereas Winky Pop, there's two distinct takeoffs. A lot of people like it because it's easier. And the beautiful thing about Winky is, I've never seen it too big. The fastest I've ever been on a surfboard is probably at Bells, coming through the, you know, the section into the bowl there. So it's it's all it's a bit of a you know it's a bit of a personal thing. And plus at Bells, I reckon it's always two foot bigger. And I know it out there, which means I get to, you know, a bit of age and treachery kicks in when I'm out in the water and, uh, you know, a lot of people don't know which ones because I read them from way out to sea. So I'm watching all those and I know which ones are going to hit where, so, you yeah. know. Yeah. But don't follow me round, okay? Morris is like, he's, he's the godfather of this town. He's, um, you know, he's always stuck up for what's kind of right and when people come in here and, you know, try and develop or, um, or, you know, sort of do some harm to the environment, he's the first one to stand up and kind of create a bit of a, you know, a bit of noise and um, I respect that. He's, um, he's a local legend. This is North Talk ECBD, Central Business District. It's kind of the industrial ghetto of Torquay. Two cappuccinos, a latte and a bongo. Take away. Yeah, we're just going to jump into Ginger Monkey. It's like a vegetarian cafe. It's sort of where all the locals go for a feed after a surf or um, on their lunch break from work. Day off work, righty? Hey, what are you up to? Man. Yeah, good, mate. Good. good. It's just come to get a quick feed. Good. Can I get four takeaway brekkie burritos? My name is Doug Andrew. Uh, I won Bells back in 1963 and I've come back for the reunion 55 years later. Most of these shops weren't here. Uh, there wasn't a tarred car park. Uh, 12 in the final, not too many wetsuits. No jet skis, you paddled out and you swam in if you lost your board. As you know, I first saw Bells in, I think, about 68, 69, from what I can remember. And it was pretty barren. All, all there was no bushes or shit. There was like, there was a horrible car park. There was. You know, it was all mud when it rained. You she's the girls. I try to be down here. Sally Fitz. Uh, Carissa. Um. Yeah, Courtney. Oh, Mick. I was behind out with those girls. I wouldn't know because I'm not down here that early. Usually the girls are on the day. When I first got on tour, it was always Mick. Usually me. First person in the water is Adriano. Um, he tries uh, to beat everybody. If you tell him like, oh, you know, someone else was in the water earlier than you and the next day he'll be here like 4.30 in the morning waiting to the sun show up.
been like a baby boom in the past couple of years. <laughs> wow, you know, I think that's amazing. We actually got asked up yourself for a kid zone. It's crazy. It's like a world, it's like a world dad league now. A lot of kids. <laughs> the next generation are coming up. I don't know. I'm married. They're having kids. Everyone's taking steps. <laughs> a lot of nine nine. We just can't kick the nap. <laughs> <laughs>